In our ongoing series on infrastructure, work is progressing on Irving's signature bridge spanning State Highway 114 at the former stadium site. You could see some of it here in time lapse as our team had multiple cameras in the work zone to give you these views of this major step. TxDOT contract crews worked overnight hours pouring concrete as the construction moves forward. A little of this work could be done with the highway underneath them open, but as they continued, they closed all lanes. By the way, they had announced that closure in advance and published detour maps to prepare drivers. Also, they did this work late and on the weekend to minimize traffic disruption. The goal of the signature bridge is to make the area more accessible and appealing for developers. The state is paying for the bridge construction and the city is funding aesthetic features through a stadium site economic development fund. Irving Mayor Rick Stouffer explains. Basically, because they took out two bridges, the TxDOT has in their plan to put this one back in. Well, as we started to incorporate some things that we wanted to really make it a signature bridge, we were able to utilize dollars that we had received from the stadium site prior to being evacuated. We were able to, through Brimer dollars, create revenue that can only be utilized on this site. So it was an opportunity to incorporate some of the things to make it an iconic bridge similar to the iconic stadium that used to be there and we're incorporating some of the looks of the beams and things of that nature so it has a resemblance of the old Cowboys Stadium. The finished bridge will accommodate both drivers and pedestrians. Eventually a dark orange line stop is also expected there. The bridge is expected to be complete late this year and you can see more of this video at the end of today's show. And in other infrastructure news, we have been following the progress and the efforts to improve Millennium Fountain near the South Irving Library. Crews poured concrete that will serve as the base for a small building that will house the fountain's controls. That will be delivered soon. All of this work is designed to prevent problems and keep the fountain working. We've had that uh, pump system's been down in an underground vault. We've had some situations to where rain events and uh, some broken pipes have flooded the vault and we've had to replace the pumps. So it's all going to be brought up above ground and put into a pump house, if you will. Crews are expected to deliver the new building in just a few days, and we'll have that to show you next time. That's also when we'll tell you about the new lighting that will give this favorite photo spot even more visual appeal. While all of this work is underway, the fountain will remain closed. It is expected to reopen around mid-year.